Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. I am about to make myself breakfast, and then I need to go to the chiropractor. I've needed to go to the chiropractor since last week, but I kind of wanted to wait until I did all that shit in the garage. And since the awful bulk of the heavy lifting and the bending and all the slicing and everything is all done, I figured that now's a good time to go. What do I have planned for today? Today, I actually really need to do day job stuff, at least for a couple hours. So yesterday, if you hadn't noticed by looking at my footage, I did something different and that I'm using the ZD-1. I had a problem with this one though, and that it had some kind of setting turned on and I couldn't figure out how to turn it off. I don't even know how the hell it got turned on. After about 35, 40 minutes and getting, you know, smashy, I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna freaking wipe the camera. So I reset the camera to factory settings and then just went through and redid my settings. Problem is, is that I shot all the video yesterday thinking that I had the picture profile with the fake acinetone turned on, but apparently I must not have pushed the button after I did all the settings to actually enable it. So when I was editing last night, I'm like, why the hell is this color so vibrant? And I realized it was because I didn't have the, the fake acinetone turned on. So I went back in last night when I was sitting on the couch playing with this thing again, giggity, and I ended up turning it on. And now on the, on the screen, it looks better. I have everything fixed the way it's supposed to be. I have active stabilization on, because it was the other thing, I couldn't turn that on. And I have eye autofocus and the colors are a little bit more muted rather than oversaturated the, in a way that I don't like. But I'm freaking hungry, so I'm gonna make breakfast. I'm nothing if not predictable when it comes to breakfast. I usually have two, th no, three things. The same omelet, unless we're out of stuff, oatmeal or cereal. Let's eat. All right, cat. Oh, that's what's missing, the little top handle. Normally when I set this up, I have that little mini top handle and I couldn't figure out what was different about this. I put the little dead cat thing back in there because at the moment I can't find the little cap that slides in, but I think I need to put that handle back on here because this that's what I'm used to having on here. Let me go get that. Let's go together. There it is. That's been fixed now. Ooh, but I got dust. Go figure. Oh, I got more than dust. All right, let's get the hell out of here. It's time to go to the chiropractor and make spiny all straight. Okay, spiny is all straightened and put back into place. What I need to do is schedule a damn massage. I haven't gotten one in so long that it's ridiculous. The other thing is that, all right, it's about 10 after one and I'm all goofed up. So I had texted my wife and I told her that, you know, both three ships are gonna be closed at two so I'm not gonna have time to go there because I, you know, I'm going to the chiropractor. You know, I didn't think anything of it. And then while I was grabbing my camera and all this stuff and getting it ready to leave, I happened to just glance down at my watch. I'm like, what the hell? It's only 20 after 12. I thought it was 1.30 when I sent that text to her telling her that I was never gonna get to three ships on time. So, I mean, shit, it's up barely 10 after one now and I'm heading to three ships. <laughs> so that's what happens when you're, you know, in the mind of the monkey. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. I don't know when she's supposed to work and when she's not and all that kind of shit. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. I definitely uh, get looped out when it comes to time. That being said, it's 10 after one now. I'm gonna go to three ships and then I think I'm going to go home and 
work a little bit more on the garage. In other words, I'm going to go and I'm going to finally get those shelves organized, like both shelves with all that like Tupperware Rubbermaid shit that I bought yesterday at Target. Now, there's one more thing that I do want to do, but I think I need to measure first and see how it's going to work out. You remember I said yesterday that the reason I don't want all those microfiber cloths and all the stuff to clean the car and all that stuff that's on that shelf, that I wanted to put them into a closed container was because every time we open the garage door, all kinds of dust, dirt, and leaves and shit fly in there. I think that what I might do is, I think I bought like a 77 inch, a couple of 77 inch blankets, the, those like moving blankets for the sound absorption, but I know they had a big one, like a 96 incher. I think what I might do is go buy one of those and cover that rack that I just built that has all the shit on there that I only access like when I'm going to decorate, you know, for Halloween and, and Christmas. Otherwise, that stuff doesn't need to be open like that. That will also sort of just make it look a little bit neater and also absorb more sound. So I forgot that I was saying I was going to do that yesterday and I was just right by Harbor Freight Tools, so I could have freaking gotten it then. But welcome to my world of forgetting shit, where I end up going back and forth to all these places numerous times a week. All right, what a whirlwind. So I took the coffee to my wife at the library, and then I just turned around and drove back to Harbor Freight Tools. They did not have any of the big-sized blankets, because apparently they had an after-Christmas sale, so they really had almost no blankets at all left. So I just got two of the same size ones that I got before, and I got a ton of the little uh, clamps so that I could just clamp them however the hell I needed to clamp them to get them to go where I need them to go. I just went to the UPS store. I got the, uh, the little wall mount thingy for the HomePod Mini, and I need to eat. Now we've come full circle. I'm back home, craps in the garage that I'm not gonna deal with today. I'm about to make myself a late lunch. And then I'm going to be a good boy and finish what I said I was going to finish for the day job. And that's it. So another day of running all over Timbuktu, doing a bunch of, sh you know, dumb shit. Story of my life. All right, that's it. That's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.